Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim sallallahu alaihi wasallam and feed the grails now let's play with jquery and bootstrap for in our grails tutorial part 5 your host tohid mia from hmtmcsc.com let's start our steps in first step plan for show flash messages and notification probably you are noticed that in our project after creating or updating or deleting there is a no notification show that means there is no message for created successfully or update successfully so this is uh, pretty much annoying for user because if they not notified then they how they will know e the action is performed that's why in this section i'm planning for show a flash message or notification message in top of our application okay let's go to next step create message box jquery js utility ocb message box dot js did you remember the ocb which we created in our first video or earlier video where we added only a javascript object this is the ocb object we created in our earlier video now i am going to extend this ocb to our message box i am going to create a javascript file this is the javascript file ocb message box okay now i am going to extend this ocb this is javascript uh, programming okay now i'm going to add that ocb method here message box actually i added some of code here i'm going to describe this in ocb message box this is a object in object containing the html of that message box it's come from a uh, jquery sorry it's come from bootstrap and this is the hide message after showing this message it will be hide automatically after 5 second which we uh, uh, specified here the check timeout timeout means if there is a timeout or not this is will be checked for here okay now the accessible method show message it will takes two parameter it success or not the message then we are checking some of uh, valid validation or the alert is uh, in our body or not after that we will uh, are determining it will be success message or error message if the success not true then it will be error message otherwise it will be success message after that we are uh, doing some logic here and then show the message from here okay this is the basic uh, work of this functionality now we are going to add this uh, ocb message box dot js into our application dot js now i'm going to press control d from my keyboard then m e w s a g message dot box message dot box i added this to our main application dot js now we are going to add a flash message watcher in our layout every time when any flash message we push from our controller it will be show in our here but who will show this message we have to add a watcher which will watch what happening there and then we'll show the message for that we will add our watcher in our main layout i'm going to layout views layout main here in our header section i'm going to add layout let me one second that would be the ocb
I am just copying my code and going to paste here. So if I want to paste here then I have to copy this dependency into head otherwise it will not work perfectly. Okay. Now in this section we are checking that there is a flash message or flash message info is available or not if available then jquery document dot ready this function will call when the document is ready then it will call ocb message box dot show message that means it will going to call this message ocb message box show message it will going to call from here with the message success or false and the message information then it will show the message in our here here for show message we have to add little bit styling i'm going to add that style in our below in these two is these two two class needed for our message box here we are specifying the width of message box and the mean height of that message box and what will be the z index of that message box now here if i create any member So here that hmtmcsc.com or password one two three four five six. See what happened? There is no message. Why not no message? Because here we set the message functionality, but we not pushed any message from controller. So we have to put some message from our controller. It then it will show to our view. Here we are seeing if not success then we can throw a error message and success then we can throw a successful message. Now I am going to add message property from message information from here. Okay. In earlier video you saw that there is a flash scope in a in a controller that's why we added message in our flash control and we created a app util info message earlier this will set a information and the success this will check in our layout here we are checking the flash has message or info then it will show that message that's why we are sending flash from here if the if the function is not saved then we will send another message this this way we will add some of message he guess what happening here it why it read because in our message dot property hasn't any entry i'm going to add some of entry here in our message dot property now I'm going to add this property and let's see what happened. Yes, all are green. Now I'm adding others messages. That means the update message. For update message, I'm going to add here that means it is invalid entry if it success then what will happen and again if there is a no response then it will be invalid entry okay now if the message uh, update operation is success then it will show some of success better but here we are seeing that it's not success 
okay now if success then we will add the success message here okay now delete if the content is not fine then it will show the error message invalid entry if able to successfully delete it then it will be show message if the message success then we will show the deleted message if not then we will be unable to delete message let's see what happened in our front end reloading it okay now i'm going to create another information uh, sorry member member first member first email address is if i are to first at gmail.com yeah now it's showing the message successfully it's saved okay if i delete this yes it showed the successful message fantastic so we successfully added the notification for create update and the flash message now here you will see that just now i deleted one entry but it not warned me for confirmation now we are going to add a confirmation in delete so we have to install a jquery confirmation plugin here we will going to use the jquery confirmation plugin it will help us to show the confirmation okay now i am going to jquery confirmation website uh, this is the jquery confirmation website i will paste this link to our project here i already downloaded the uh, version of uh, jquery confirmation now we are going to add here we will get two file one is confirmation min.js I'm going to paste it to our JavaScript here. Uh, yes, I want to add and another one is the CSS. Now I'm going to copy from my downloaded directory to here. I paste it to our CSS. Now we have to add this those both of file into our application js and css i am going to add this into our application this yes, this is the library that's why i am adding it top here this is the confirmation library and same way i am going to add this to our application.css yes we installed our jquery confirmation plugin now we have to create a initializer js and include into a project okay now i am going to create a initializer dot js this is this will be ocb dot init it will responsible for initiate our sum of code in a startup i added it now I'm going to add some of code here. That means if our application is a application document is ready, then this function will be called. I just added a place reader. In next we will add some of code here. And now I'm going to add this init function in our application dot js okay now i'm going to add this init function here okay now the second thing in this we created an initializer in okay now we have to bind the confirmation message action in our initialization for the action okay here we adding a code in our application.js sorry 
the initialization dot js that is this code okay here we are seeing if jquery has any class delete confirmation then it will show a message that is delete confirmation and the content will be are you sure want to delete where i get this I if you see the documentation of this then it will get this two option from here Th this is for confirmation title you can uh, uh, view or visit this site for our implementation see our implementation here uh, delete confirmation let's see what happening will be delete confirmation now i am going to reload now if i click on here see the confirmation is came here how it came here how the how did he know i clicking on that confirmation do you have any idea about that if not that no problem okay let me show you in our index.property index.jsp file in earlier video we added a delete function and we also added a class name delete confirmation that's why it automatically initiate this function delete confirmation here so if i click on here close close it if i press ok then see the function is deleted fantastic okay now we in a position where we complete all of our seven step for play with jquery and bootstrap hope you guys understand the full video if not no problem let me know in comment so that i can help you and you may email me in our email address thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe my channel i will show the next video with some of exciting feature our next video will be grails authentication and authorization login form thank you again